buck, a monk that seeks inner peace, or something like that. He used to be part of the magistrate, but is now fighting against him with the resistance. His primary fire is a shotgun that shoots 20 small pellets that deals a total of 700 damage every second if all of them hits. Buck's weapon is the only weapon in the game that can reload one bullet at a time. To do this, simply fire off the box animation shows him placing in the first bullet. The shotgun also has an ammo count of 4 and is only good in short range. His secondary fire shoots a small projectile map that when it comes in contact with the target deals 200 damage and slows them for 2 seconds. Buck's first ability allows him to heal himself for 1000 health over 1 second. He can't use any abilities except for Heroic Leap when the animation has been activated. This ability is countered by Core Trace. Heroic Leap is Buck's last ability. It allows him to jump a long distance with full air control. All of Buck's abilities has a 10 second cooldown. His ultimate makes him fire his gun 60% faster for 6 seconds. During this you also get infinite ammo. When used, it honestly feels pretty underwhelming, so remember not just to rush in when you're ready to use it. Buck's first talent is called Ensnare. Ensnare makes your weapon attacks deal 30% more damage to targets that has been slowed by your net. The damage increase lasts a minimum of 2 seconds. Buck's second talent is called Bulk Up. It makes recovery heal for an additional 600 health instantly and increases your maximum health by 300 for 5 seconds. Buck's last talent is called Bounce House. Your heroic leap now deals 600 damage and knocks up enemies within 20 units of where you land. 20 units is about the same as the diameter of two Bomb King Bombs. Overall, Buck is really weak at the moment. Only people who have mastered him can do really well, while most others seem to do decent or worse with him. Ensnare is his most viable talent, with Bulk Up being a very close second and Bounce House is just the third choice. Ensnare gives him the damage he needs to be able to fight back in this meta, but if we head into the Heavy Sustain meta, which it seems like we are soon, Bulk Up helps Buck a lot with his survivability. Bounce House is only a bit worse, because generally you want to save your leap for retreating and not engaging in fights. On maps like Timber Mill and Spitstone Quarry, gaining high ground is also a good idea and that's where this talent might be useful. For his loadouts, it depends on what playstyle you have. If you go with the talent Ensnare, consider picking up Concussion, Gotcha and No Escape. While going for the bulk up talent, you pretty much always need Rabbit Sustain and Reconstruction. Another of his really strong cards would be Stomping Crown. I like to mix and match a bit so I don't focus too much on one ability. For items, you would want to pick up Call Trace first, then Rigger if the enemy team has a Torval and some defense cards. Death Hands is honestly pretty good on Buck, but only as a later choice. With Death Hands free, you can reload in between your shots so fast you don't lose any DPS while still having a full clip. If I have free space, Nimble helps me a lot with engaging in fights faster, so it's easier to save your leap for the retreating. With Buck, you need to get close to your target. You want to hit one or two shots before the enemy notices you, so be sneaky. All of your abilities has high sounds, so try and get close without giving away your spot. While your shotgun is good at close range, it doesn't mean it's unusable in medium or long range. You can still hit the Drogos in the air or Willow flying above you for 4 to 500 and those shots might count when your hitscan is taking care of them. Save your jump for retreating and your ult is just an ability on the cooldown. Don't be afraid to use it in a 1v1 or to clean up some targets when you're low on ammo. At last, Buck is a good champion. He hits the subscriber button and he likes the video. Be like Buck. But until next time, peace.